What is up, everybody? We are sampling a new game. I'm not even going to be able to pronounce the name of this, but I will have it in the title for y'all. Uh, so far, this game looks pretty amazing. It's got this dark, gothic feel to it. I feel like I'm playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time. When the train pulls up uh, and you see Cloud get out, this whole game just kind of has the same vibe about it. So I'm totally digging that. This came out of left field. Didn't see this coming. Uh, this game was suggested to me to try out. So we're going to do exactly that. Um, not going to try to spoil anything for anybody. But the world is in great peril. Uh, just like this guy says. Apparently there is a... I don't know if it's evil... But there is a force of light, and apparently uh, you want to stay away from that light because it absolutely destroys everybody and everything. In the beginning of this game, you see a princess. Uh, she's like she's trying to help people. Um, she's trying to get some kind of beggar in the street some food, and this giant beam of light comes down and um, turns her into a monster. So you fight your way through that. It's pretty cool. Um, I do need to sample the combat some more before I get a real feel for it, but it definitely looks like it totally has some potential, um, to say the very least. So you defeat this princess, and in the process, you're hit with this light, and then you wake up in a test tube. Because apparently once you are, uh, once you have endured the light, uh, you're changed, you're transformed. So that's one cool thing about this game, is you actually do get to make your character. You get to pick his face, what he looks like, what type of hair he has. I gave my character cat whiskers because, I don't know, my cat was sitting here next to me. The point is this is very cool to do on a gacha game. This is really kind of the first game where I'm seeing uh, the ability to build a character. Uh, looks good, looks good. So we're going to have to see how this goes. Um, I'm used to mobile games having like a gacha system. What does that guy have on his shoulder? What is that? Some kind of little fox thing? Cool. Digging it. Dig the art. So we're just kind of going through some banter. Lorette here is... Uh, She's the girl that shielded you from the light in the beginning. She definitely helped you survive. Um, so once you've been exposed to the light, you can you can fight it because uh, you're resistant to it. At least that's what was explained to me when I woke up from the test tube. So this girl is exposed to the light as well. Um, what are they called? I think they call you reborn, something like that. But anyway, let's get through this. Let's get into some actual gameplay. Um, one, another thing that was interesting to me was the controls. The way that they have the controls set up is different from anything else that I've seen in a gacha game so far. So we'll see that right now once we get through this and I can start walking around. Let's see. So yeah, the light is corrupting the land. The light's corruption has spread. Mutating people... And we're going to have to put a stop to that. Because I roll with the darkness. So, totally, totally into this so far. What a great time to find a new game to play. Alright, so you're going to be a member of the Mobile Corps. And you run around fighting the light. Alright, so... There we go, we're going to be victorious no matter what. I'd really like to see where they go with the story in this. I don't know anything about the light. I don't know... Uh, okay. But definitely digging the art so far. There's tanks and there's just the character designs, the armor. Everything just looks pretty awesome. Some people definitely need some props in this art department because... Yeah, we're in the mobile corpse. Come on. 
爆発を起こしましたこの世界に何が起きているのかその調査では自分の世界を選んでください Please select the unit you wish to join. I like that. We have options. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. What do we want to do here? We have the warrior unit. The main unit for physical attack. Attacker of specializing in dealing massive damage to the enemy. What else do we got? A wizard unit. Main unit of special attacking. Good at elemental attacks or range attacks. And physical attacks. Here's the girl that kind of shielded us. The main unit for defense. Yes, big surprise, she's a tank. We have a priest. Obviously, this guy's gonna heal us. A hunter. The main unit for dis disturbing, weaken, or. Okay, so this guy's like a breaker. Cool. Definitely cool. What does this girl have to offer? Combo attacks, a gunner. Okay. All right. Yeah, I did notice this game has like a combo uh, counter. So we'll have to see what they do with that. I don't know if like everybody's damage scales up with the combo as it should, but a gunner seems pretty cool to get that high uh, to get that high combo count. And let's not kid anybody here. I like looking at this girl. She's good on the eyes. So let's be a gunner. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Here we are with a gun. Unlocks at level 70. All right, so we're gonna be this guy. Understood, we'll give you your pistol. Cool. Oh, now we have to sign. Enter player name. Oh, they better have my name. All right. Oh, here I am, Czar the Gunner. That's me, baby. Oh, cool. You get to put your little bloody fingerprint on that. I'm registered. You hear that, kitty? I'm registered. All right, here we go. Oh, now we got to go through a training facility. I can dig it. I can dig it. Oh, there she is. Hedda. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I recognize this girl from the chess piece. <laughs> all right, all right. We came looking for a taste of freedom. Oh, I'm not getting bashful on you. This girl does not know who she's talking to. All right. Once, once we're done with basic training... Okay, she's gonna ring up her lovely captain for me. But until then, I better fall in rank. Who's your leader? How does the gunner work? Who's your daddy? Can we start training? Let's just get right into it. Let's get knee deep into this. Yeah, let's get me squared away, baby. Alright, so here we go. Finally get to move around, we get to shoot the shit. So there's an auto battle button that I see already. Okay, all right. So what's cool about, well, what's different about this is uh, there's not really like a little game pad uh, on the left side of the screen. It's just anywhere that you tap your finger, uh, you kind of just guide your character to go anywhere you want. And the right side of the screen, if you tap on that, you change the view. So you can look around all over the place. Uh, you can zoom in and out. It's just like using one of your camera apps. It's like, you know, zooming in um, to try to take a picture. So that's pretty cool. Definitely digging this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I just hit the auto battle button. So we have auto skills. Um, there are different types of weapons using auto skills. Cool. Let's just get right into it and start smashing fools. So obviously you have a charge up time for all of your skills. There we go. 
So it's kind of back and forth. I don't know if there's like a dodge button yet. There's obviously a lot of attacks and controls I haven't unlocked. Uh, but when you have a whole party of people like this, uh, combat can be interesting. Obviously switching through different characters, using their different abilities. We're going to have to see how this goes. Uh, there's already, there's obviously a breaker. Uh, there's a priest. So we have the typical uh, party compilation where you're going to have people that break, people that heal. And we're obviously going to have gunners that get us high combos. So that's cool. Yeah, that's right. Call up Yashman. I like looking at her. Where is she? <laughs> Hello? You there, Yashman? Alright. So apparently I joined the unit with all girls. Because, I don't they like to use guns. So, that's cool. I'm like... I'm like the only guy on the cheerleading squad. I, you know what? I'm there. Bet. Bet. I will be the only guy on the cheerleading squad. I'm totally down. It was completely an untapped resource when I went to school. I'm telling you, any of you that are in high school, any dudes out there, go join the cheerleading squad. See where that takes you. You will have stories to tell, my friend. Alright, I'm a survivor just happened that way I'm not sure <laughs> what brings you to our humble unit yeah I'm a survivor yeah 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 I live through the light the light feeds my darkness honestly though this girl is just busting out it's like they had to make her a t-shirt out of an extra t-shirt if you guys know what I mean all right. How was your chat? Yeah, we'll definitely meet. Yeah, oh yeah, she's taking a shine to me. It's a good thing I made the right choice. <laughs> that was the only choice I could make, but hey, here we are. All right, all right. All right, what do we got here? Okay, all right. We got some, some, some run-of-the-mill items. Okay, bet. Let's go to the home screen. Player leveled up. That's me. All right. So I don't know if there's going to be an emulator for this game. I don't. Well, either I'm really short. Or that girl's really, really tall. Seems like I'm just the right height, actually. Well, she didn't seem that happy to see me. What happened? I'll drop some papers on my behalf. So I'm officially part of the mobile corps. Woo. Yeah, let's get me outfitted. Let's get my kit. Whoa, alright, I see a lot, I see a lot of stuff going on here. We've got some of these rubies, some of these, some of those. I'm interested in seeing how this game is going to try to make any money because, I mean, I don't know, maybe you pull characters, I, I don't know, looks like I got a ticket for something, I'm just going to have to check that out. We have limited event missions already, one time limited Ah, weapons. SSR class weapons. Let's get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just let me get it. What? 4% SSR? You know what? Okay. 4% rate. That is definitely acceptable. Uh, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. 4% is not that bad for an SSR rate. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. I think we're done with that menu. Holy cow. There's a lot of people here. Use facilities near the capital. Okay. So we have a drop menu that'll just take us to different locations. There's level 2 Czar. Uh, everyone else is decked out with armor. Jeez. Homeboy over here. 
is level 53 already. Your boy's going to have to play some catch-up. Um, you know, on the bright side, though, I seem to be the only one with whiskers. That's got to be worth something. You can run around all over here. Uh, we are we are pretty quick. We are pretty quick. So, yeah, these look like other players for reals for reals. Just standing here chilling. That's pretty cool. This is definitely something different. Head to gotcha, okay. <laughs> well, before we get to the gotcha, we should probably try to uh, to get as many gifts and things as we can, so that we can actually. Uh... Okay, we got some gems. That way, we can actually spend some stuff at the gotcha. What is going on here? Why won't it let me take that? Oh, it wants to take me straight to the gotcha. Accept that. Let's go straight to the gacha, because that's where we're supposed to be. Alright, so here we go. We are finally testing out the gacha. 16 minutes and 8 seconds in. Not too bad for a mobile game. We finally meet the gacha face-to-face. -face. What do we got here? I was the youngest to attend the Empire's Top Institute of Bloody Blue. Alright, alright. All right. Yeah, you were. Now get me some good gotcha stuff. This girl's gonna tell us her life story when all we want to do is some damn gotcha pulls. So are we just pulling for items here? <laughs> You'd get gems from the shop. But I'm betting you don't have any yet. Ha, bitch. That's where you're wrong. Because before I came to the gotcha, I checked my mailbox. Veteran gotcha player for the win. Oh, she said she'll spot me some gems this time. Oh, 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 oh. oh, this bitch doesn't know who she's dealing with. My gems just went right back into my pocket. Ooh, pick a weapon. All right, let's do it. All right, so here's our first official gotcha. We're going to spin this bad mamma jamma. Looks like we are pulling for weapons. Which is pretty cool, alright, I dig that, because it seems like this game is going to let you work on the character that you built. So instead of having a gacha that revolves around, you know, pulling different random characters, we're going to be trying to pull different badass weapons to put on our character that we have customized. And so far, to me, that seems pretty legit. Now, yellow... Okay. Okay, so we... Just, this at least looks like an SR weapon. Pretty cool. Spin again for free. That is an SSR weapon. Should I spin again? You know what? You know what, boys and girls? We're just going to go with it. That says SSR. Yeah, we're, for the sake of the recording, we're just going to go with this. I don't know if this was a good spin or not. It's an SSR. That was a pretty lucky draw. Now for the next shot, next step. Okay, let's say, is there another? Is there another gotcha? What do we got going on over here? That was a pretty lucky pull. Uh, it, was, it did say SSR. The thing is, you never know how many S's they can have. I mean, I could have just pulled an SSR weapon, um, and that could be the very bottom of the barrel. For all I know, like the best weapons in this game could be. SSSSR, but who knows? We'll get to that. Alright, let's not forget to equip this weapon. Head to characters. Alright, alright. Typical stuff. Actually, this isn't typical at all. This is, uh... Okay, SSR looks pretty good. There's SR, there's R, there's N, which is, you know, a cheap Walmart sword that's gonna break. So, SSR is pretty good. Okay, so we have different equipment sets. Cool. Let me show you the best thing to equip. Oh, I got the best thing to equip right here, baby. Don't give me that look. I've got this. No, I've got this. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, we're done like that. She'll walk me out. Okay, well, I equipped my, my badass gun. Good to know. 
Oh, she, there's more she wants to teach me, but she's gonna save that for another time. I'm being savored. Oh, she's sharing me with with Sadie. Okay, all right. Good luck out there. All right, bet. So here I am with my whiskers. Um, let's find this Sadie chick. Actually, no. Let's take all our gifts. We're just gonna take everything. We seem to have gotten some gems. We got some gotcha tickets. Okay, let's let's do it. Um. Okay, so 50 gems gets you a paid spin. We're at 45. So, uh, one time limited, 10 times special SSR gotcha. Guaranteed. SSR class weapon times one. Okay, so there's weapon. There's obviously equipment. Okay. What's limited? Okay, so yes, they are all weapons. Um, 5% SSR times 10, gotcha. Spin for 10 times. So, line combo, 3 hits. Okay, so what is this? Alright, so obviously these diff different weapons have different properties. Let's see if we can get anything. We do have a 10 spin here. Uh, homeboy is gripping 2 guns at a time. And I would like another SSR gun. Ooh, ooh. Let's see it. So gold. We want gold. Green for the money, gold for the honey. There's no rainbows in this. It's a dark world. The best we can get is gold. Okay, we got a dark cannon. There we go. Golden jacket. We got a book. Alright. I did see a gun in there that looked cool already, so... Alright. So white items are just R. They're just... Meh. Ah. At least we got some armor. I did see a gun in there. Um. SR, SR. Okay. So we got a dark cannon. Whatever that amounts to. Uh, we'll have to see if that's actually uh, better than the gun that we got. But at least we have. Uh, wait a minute. What's going on here? We got another one? What what happened there? Okay, I guess I had another ticket. Cool. Maybe we get to redo that one since there was no SSR in it. Shimona. Feeling good about this one. Ooh. Damn. Uh, we started w we started with a hat. That's not good. Oh, this was just a single item ticket. That's not good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess we just get to do this over and over again until we get something good. No, it's probably just going through the tickets. Oh, there's a yellow. That one's a yellow. Uh-oh, here we go. I'm feeling the hype here. At least there was a little yellow box in the box. Okay, yellow. There we go. That looks cool. The Onslaught bracelet. Okay, I, I, I can dig that. But I can dig that. Alright, so. Yeah, we need to get out of that. So we, it's like we have weapon, equipment... And we have some limited stuff here. Alright, alright. I can dig it, for sure. So let's actually equip this stuff. Let's see. So we have our gun. We have another gun and another gun. Ah. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I know we pulled some damn hats. <laughs> we gotta have a better hat than that. Oh, I see. I see. So so our stats are going to go up depending on what we're wearing. Our evasion goes down with that. So a little bit more defense or more attack. 61. You know, we'll take the... Actually, our attack stays the same. It's our... I don't know if that's special attack or it just says S attack. We'll go with this hat. 
Oh, cool. It, it's actually portrayed on the character. Okay. That's definitely a step in the right direction. So, what's this? Uh... Okay, so apparently the rare gun that we pulled uh, is definitely better than uh, the other gun that we just had sitting around. Let's look at our armor. Pretty simple stuff right here. We're just going to click through and whatever seems to give us the best stats. Yeah, it's also going to increase our overall power. So that looks pretty good. Let's get some pants to match. Those are the only pants we got. That's it. That's it. We're ready to go. We are ready to go to war. Do we have support equipment? Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, that's that's a whole lot. I'm going to have to read that myself. Support weapons, support armor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about accessories, though? There we go. There we go. Now, I wonder if this thing's on me all the time or... Okay. So, in case your armor breaks, you can just have some support armor. Yeah, okay, I dig it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, snap. Yeah, we got a support weapon that's a book. I don't even think that's for my class, but I think we're I think we're ready to go. Okay, so apparently you can have like four or five weapons at the same time. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, and here's our... Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Alright, so we want everything on our main equipment screen. Yeah, looks good. Alright. Alright. Okay, we have elemental attacks. We have a whole lot of different elements here. That is always a good sign. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Looking good. We got active skills. Level one, shot two, speed trigger, stealth, quick drill, charge shot. If it's between the quick drill and the charge shot. Alright, what else do we got? Uh, we got passive skills. Physical attack bonus three. Cool. Alright. Let's be the best gunner with whiskers that we can be. Alright, we're already looking better. We're already we're we're starting to fit in a little bit. Let's let's take all of these missions. <laughs> we got a whopping four gems out of it. There's equipment upgrades too that uh, that we seem to have. I'm not gonna do anything with that right now. I'm gonna go get knee deep into some combat. I already see a guild here. I'm already seeing a lot of good things. Uh, yeah, this looks good. Everything looks good. Let's go get into some actual combat. Let's actually go use some of these damn, damn weapons that we just worked so hard to pull. Um. Okay. You can always find in the quest menu. Ooh, there is a lot here. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna have to pull out the kickstand here. I might have to get a controller set up just for this game. This is pretty gnarly. Okay, so there's the gotcha. There's, there's a nobleman. You know what? Let's go back over here. Ooh, that camera is gnarly. I see other, I see other noobs running around here, uh, trying to figure out how to move. <laughs> I can get used to this. Now, as far as performance goes, I don't know how well this is going to run on your typical run-of-the-mill phone. I'd kind of be worried about that a little bit. So anybody else playing this game, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're playing on and how well it's working out because uh, I would assume. All right. Oh, snap. Okay, so we can just use all of our guns here. So whichever gun we want, just boom. 
Alright, okay. All of our different weapons have different cooldowns. Okay. Digging it. Alright, I get it. I get it. So we're going to be switching through the different weapons that we have. So you can bring like four or five um, SSR weapons to a fight and just kind of go through all of them. I can kind of see where this game's going with it. So they're going to want us to collect items for our hero. This is a different this is a different take on a gacha game. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Um, usually we're collecting heroes. Uh, now apparently we are we're just we're collecting items. Cool. Let's see there's a smiley face thing. We got stickers. All right, bet we can communicate with each other through stickers. Oh, that was cool. We did our charge shot. Um, let's see. What are we waiting to charge up? Alright, so that's doing pretty good damage. Okay. Just kind of trying to figure things out here, guys. So let's see. Uh, each one of these shots costs a different amount of MP. Like, the stealth one costs 30. Okay, so my aggro just went down from doing that. I gotcha. Then I'm just going to sit here and do basic attacks until my MP charges back up. Then I can use speed trigger, which costs like 25 MP. I can pick my target, uh, whichever one I want. And he'll just start attacking there. All right? The cooldown... The cooldown is down on my speed trigger gun, but I obviously need the 25 MP. I need to charge that up to do that. All right. Okay, okay, I'm kind of getting it. Let's see, which one haven't we tried? We've done stealth. Um, let's do quick drill. All right, it's doing like 192. That's not bad. Uh, speed trigger was hitting for more than that. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe we'll do charge shot next. Okay. So, a different piece of equipment does actually give you a different move, because the SSR gun that we got, it gives a speed trigger. Um, actually, let me... What is he shooting with? Is that just a generic gun? So there is our SSR gun. You can see him with it. Looks pretty cool. I'm assuming that as he levels up, the cooldowns are going to go down. Because this guy is supposed to be good for keeping combos going. So we're going to do quick trigger, see if he changes guns. Yeah, he did change guns. And now he's rocking that gun. Is he going to do... No, he's going... He's going to do basic attacks with the first weapon that you have equipped. So I guess it's kind of good that our first weapon equipped is our SSR gun. All right, now we kind of have an idea of how to control this bad, bad man. Uh, and we are going to flee from the test dummy. Uh, that was very educational though. You can always find Sadie in the quest menu. All right, let's find her. Shit, let's just go do a mission. Let's attempt this. Oh, we're attempting something. We unlocked an area just like that. Cool. Apparently that's all we had to do. And properly outfitted. She noticed. She's got a mission for me. Sounds pretty urgent. Alright, let's go check out this ward. She would like to ask me to join. I was going to join either way. Fighting the light. Yes, let's earn some of these gems so we can do more pulls. Okay, I'm ready to fight the light. I've been fighting the light my whole life. What do we got here? A level 2 wizard. There's a level 2 me. This guy's a little bit more powerful than me. But what does that really mean? 
a couple thousand more to his power level. Psh, we got skills. We got skills to overcome power levels. Test, test. So here we all are. There's everybody with their generic ass bullshit. Here comes me with my cat whiskers and my blue hair wearing a freaking tiara looking thing. And uh, women are already running into me and they don't know what to do. All right. The trucks are cool. I, I dig this whole transportation thing that they got going on. This girl obviously didn't want to be late for the mission. I wish it gave me more options. Like, no, I'm not fine. You need to make this up to me. The warriors are out on a surveying mission. All right, so we're we're just the we're just delivering supplies here, but this is how it starts. All right, here we go. <laughs> are you the new recruit everyone's been talking about? I knew them bitches was talking about me. She should have said something. Oh. Her name's Percy. And as a more experienced officer, I better do what she says. I better respect this girl's authority. Yeah, Percy's got a bad habit of getting carried away. I have a feeling you're really not sorry, Percy. I have a feeling you're really not. <laughs> Percy's actually a non-combatant, so yeah. Wait, but I can already vouch for her intelligence. I thought she was saying I can hardly vouch for her intelligence. Yep. Oh, she has talents. Cool. She would be ideal for keeping me company. Why, thank you! Look at you playing matchmaker over here. With her talents, she's gonna be ideal for keeping me company. Sounds good. Yeah, seeing as how you've only recently awakened, you still need to get used to life. I, th this sounds like something she would be saying to me if I just got out of prison. <laughs> seeing as how you just got out, and you're still getting used to life on the outside. I brought you this girl named Percy. Alright. She's taking a shine to me. Let's go. She wants me to keep you company. Jeez. That wasn't in the contract, was it? Well, it's in the contract now, bitch. I just got out. Is there anything you'd like to know? Nah, I'm good. Let's just let's just get let's just get to it. Oh, there's a situation we're investigating. We're bogged down. <laughs> you know what that's called? Being overworked. I'll overwork you. Alright, let's go see what we're actually fighting out there. So I guess I have to ask her about herself. You want to know more about me? Girls love telling you all about their bullshit. Here she goes. When the light struck my family down, blah, 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 blah. I got separated from my good friend. When a girl says good friend, they be bucking. That's all I'm going to say. Luckily, some people from the corpse helped her. But I can't use weapons, so I hide behind people like you. Alright, alright, you'll have your chance to prove your worth. Oh, look at this girl, already telling me she's not perfect. Ah, jeez. I've heard that enough. Alright. So already giving me the lecture about putting food on the table. We didn't even have any kids yet. Shouldn't be allowed to say some shit like that to me. Now maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much, but... Alright, here we go. Okay, looks like a little shanty town. It's a labor ward. Cool, okay. Okay, it's gonna improve our class level. 
Here we go. Gaming mode enabled. But yeah, guys, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what device you're playing this on and how well it's working out for you. Um, I'm going to look into like an emulator type thing to see if I can run this on my laptop. This is running on my phone great. I don't know the quality of this when I upload this. I don't know how well this is going to look, but so far it's running pretty damn smooth. Um, Alright, I might actually need to pay attention here. Okay, it's going to show me the goal of the quest. There's enemies, target enemies, you, your friend, target location. That's all we need to know. All right, the light's causing abnorm abnormalities. Oh, cool! So you can just you can just tap somewhere and he will go there. Uh, this dude looks pretty gnarly. So that's cool because that's another player. So I I, I definitely dig that about this already. You are running around with other players. Uh, there's a guild system. I can't wait to see how we can interact. This is awesome. A giant footprint. Sounds like one of those damn light monsters. It's a good thing you're dealing with the king of darkness over here. She's... <laughs> She's a nerd who likes to stay indoors and tinker with stuff. It's like a match made in heaven. When a girl tells you this, <laughs> that she just likes to stay indoors and tinker with stuff, you better be on your way. Alright. Yeah, 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 wait till we get back to base camp. I'll let you handle this. Just watch yourself. Okay. Shake it fast. But watch yourself. Alright, show me what you're working with. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, that bitch looked like she had some shit to say. What? What is this? Okay, normal attack, critical, and a miss. All right, we're gonna be fighting. Bam! Quick, quick shot, quick drill. So it looks like we got a mage backing us up. We just laid some smackdown on him. He just got conquered. By the darkness. Cool. Alright, so there's me and my wizard buddy. He seems to be pretty good support. Kinda kinda wishing they would have gave me a healer instead, but hey, what's a young gunner to do? Aim the enemy. Aggro is used to determine the enemy's action. The character targeted by the enemy will be displayed in the aggro value. Okay. So whoever they're targeting, we're gonna know. Seems like they're probably going to target me since I'm doing the most. So I can clearly see that this guy's targeting me. Oh no, now he's targeting the wizard. Alright, not too shabby. Bam. Okay, alright. Leave this to me. I don't know what I'm leaving to you. I just did all the work. Yada yada this. Yada yada Alright, here we go. So I am running around here with other people. Uh oh, I just ran into an encounter. Now I know when there's dust getting kicked up in the air, that is an encounter. Boom. Uh, looks like somebody else joined our party. So let me get that straight. Did I just form a party with somebody just by kind of running into an encounter at the same time that they did? Uh, that can make things very interesting. Here we go. That guy looks nasty. Stop looking at him. Oh, the champ's here. We are talking about me, of course. Captain Leo Kado. Boy, I'm glad to see you. Alright. You kids can take it from here. Alright, 
Alright, we're gonna go clean up this last thrall. Whatever the hell that is. We're gonna fight this thing first. Bam. The stealth seems pretty nifty, actually. I think I dodged some stuff because of stealth. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Can we level up before we get to the boss fight? I feel like I should level up before I get to the boss fight here. I literally have like one more fight before I level up. Oh! Okay, so we have awakening bars. <clears throat> when awakening is activated, multiple benefits kick in. Status up, AP bar refill, and more. Alright, so this is gonna be like SCT recovery. You're gonna get your you're gonna get your attacks quicker. And you're just gonna get to go to town. Quick drill. Let's charge shop this fool. Boom. Speed trigger, here we go. Here we go. Let's use some stealth. My aggro just went down so he can keep attacking this wizard, not me. Speed trigger. Digging that. Cool. And there we go. We are level three and a half already. Okay, that was some good EXP from that one. Ah, ha, that's funny. So we, <laughs> so this whole time we've just been delivering them their lunch. That's all this was. Well, what did you think you were hauling around? They gave you a freaking crock pot. What did you think was in there? For reals. Look at that picture. This girl thought she was bringing them C4 or some shit. Turns out she's just bringing them some sushi. Yeah, that's right. You can't fight on an empty stomach. Alright, we surveyed the shit out of this area. Yeah, surveying is hard work, man. You gotta look for survivors, you gotta scout. You gotta do a bunch of stuff that's serving. Hmm. They're working you guys too hard. Well, it's a good thing we have you to bring us lunch. No, I really don't, but it's making me ask that. Why don't we grab a drink together? Whoa, buddy. Whoa. You talking to me? Oh, okay, he must be talking to Percy. Bro, did you just step to my bitch like that? I, whoa, whoa, I know you're the captain and all, but I ain't finna fake for no Pecker Woods. What is going on here? Ah! <laughs> okay, so, so apparently he just cut Percy out of the whole let's go to the bar equation. So, my bad. My bad, I thought he was trying to step to my bitch, but I guess he wasn't. Because he's trying to step to me, he's kind of messed up, but okay. Alright, let's see what this fool's talking about. Oh yeah, that's right, because he's got a reputation to keep as a captain. Sorry, Percy. She's happy as a clam. <laughs> this world's basically done for. We're fighting for nothing. Well, way to stay positive, bud. Well, I guess we'll find out. I am kind of curious what this whole light thing is. Uh, I didn't get to really record uh, the very beginning of this game, but... A light beam comes down and just transforms this princess into a monster and 
kind of have to fight that thing off, and that's the intro into the game. Ain't trying to spoil nothing, but uh, it does make you think, where the hell is this light coming from? Who's controlling it? I feel like there's a conspiracy here. But it's a little different, right? We're usually we're typically fighting the darkness, so I guess fighting the light is it, it's something different. It's a nice change of pace. What do you think, rookie? <laughs> well, how about the most rookie shit to say in the world? Will everything be okay? Question mark. Please, fearless leader, tell me. I think so. It's a good thing that you think so. That's right, I'm a survivor. So this guy's pretty much like, hey man, just, we're going down the shitter, make the best of it, eat some good food, drink some good drink, you know. Find some, find something that gives you a reason to keep living. Well, for me, that's definitely Percy. She's, she's definitely holding me down right now. I'm sorry, Cap. I, I thought you were stepping to my bitch. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, Percy's like the only thing I got going for me right now. All right, that does it for today. I think we've bullshitted enough. And been called rookies like 12 times. Alright, we're about to phase out of here. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Can we get to level 4? I'm going to phase out before I fight this... Uh... Oh, it looked like a puffer fish thing. Alright, so... Our unit ranked up. Cool. Cool, cool. Bet. So now, we've returned safely. What do we get for our first mission? Do we get enough to do a damn poll? Oh, Sophia wishes to speak to me. Let's find the Sophia chick. Let's collect our, our missions first. Yeah, why not? Well, wait, there's a shop and a gacha. So let's just go to this gacha. Let's see. I knew it was gonna... I knew it was... You know what? We might as well check the pricing of this game. Let's see. What do they want for what? Okay, let's see. So for 40 bucks, you're gonna get two of the 10 pulls. So it's about $20 a 10 pull. Um, you know, that's that's really not terrible. A lot of these games are charging $25 to $30 to $35 for a 10 pull. Um, okay. Alright. Let's see. Oh, and these are the one-time buy deals. I'm sure these will get renewed as time goes on. Blooty, blooty, blue. Okay. 80 gems for 40 bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. Unfortunately, they're not letting you buy exactly 50 of them at a time. But, okay, alright, they are definitely priced to compete with other gotchas. I'll give them that. Let's see. So we can do some, uh, some equipment stuff if we want. Or we can go right straight to the one-time limited weapons. Oh, crap, that's right, that's pay gems. That's pay gems. <laughs> That's pay gems. So wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I literally cannot use my gems on anything. Ooh. I think we hit our first bump in the road. Um, so question, what am I supposed to do with my damn gems? Uh, if, if everything here, if every single here, every single here thing, every, every single thing here, uh, 
Unlock weapons. Weird. What is going on here? That can't be right. That's got to be a glitch, right? Am I not, am I not seeing it? Am I not seeing something? Is there a way to do a single pull? Is there a way to do anything without paid gems? Nope. That's paid. Equipment. That's ridiculous. Okay, so that kind of makes me wonder. That kind of makes me wonder if that's maybe a glitch. Who knows? Uh, that doesn't really make sense to me. If anybody has any information on that, let me know, please. I'd like to know uh, what I'm supposed to actually do <laughs> with my currency. Since, uh, since obviously I cannot spend my currency on anything because everything is paid currency. Um, a training gift pack. Fifty percent SSR gift pack. Ah, there's a purchase button. Twenty six bucks. $20. So for $20, you get a 50% SSR Captain's Weapons gift pack containing 25 paid gems, headgear, weapon. Okay. Great. Um, question though, what am I supposed to do with my gems if the only thing that I can, <laughs> the only banners I can pull on are paid banners? That just seems weird to me. What's the shop? Is this an in-game shop? We can buy different packs. Okay, so th those are the different packs. They're pretty much bundles. Oh, so we, we have to purchase tickets. Okay. Items. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so we can spend our our free gems that we've grinded out. Tickets for special training quest with huge rewards. Experience boosters, gold boosters. There's a drop booster, increase item drop rate. Okay. Advent booster. Hmm. Experience, gold. Okay, alright, I gotcha. I gotcha. Ticket for tanning level. Interesting. So we have items, gifts, packs, gems. Is this the same uh, price menu that we were looking at earlier? Alright. Still kind of strange to me. Um, what's this exchange about? What is this exchange about? All right, it looks like we have an exchange here that's using some crazy little currency. We probably grind this out through some sort of event. <laughs> yes, I want this safety helmet. So obviously there's there's different events that are going to yield like these different ore things, these little red things that you can use to get a safety hat. There's a coin exchange. There's another coin exchange that are different coins. And then there's a limited gotcha coin exchange. We don't have any of these. Okay, so you can limit break weapons, items, weapon quartz, SSR. Um, you obviously need quartz to you know, enhance your weapons. There's a lot of exchanges here. Uh, that is a good sign. That means that this game is going to have a lot of different stuff going on at the same time. If you're done grinding some event, you can always go grind something else. So it looks like we can get uh, 
We need one of these tickets so I can get this light gun. This thing looks cool. Okay. The advent exchange. Alright, and then we have soul fragments. Which can yield me this awesome ring. Looks pretty gnarly. So we're going to have to see if we can get our hands on some of this stuff. Obviously, as you go through the game, uh, you're going to unlock just different things to do. The point is, there's a lot of different currencies. There's a lot of different shops. We like that. We definitely do. We like variety. Um, and there seems to be a lot of that going around here. Man. So I gotta say, what do I think of this game? I definitely think this game is going to have a following. People are going to be playing the shit out of this game. For sure. Uh, I'm glad that this game was recommended to me. Oh man. Okay. Friends list, guilds, check, check. Everything looks pretty good so far. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about really not being able to use your gems at the gotcha at all because everything, everything is a paid, everything is a paid gotcha. Global launch, limited captains' weapons, captains' weapons. Are these all the same weapons? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, your boy is tripping. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. So we can scroll down from these. So these these top ones are paid. Paid. At the very bottom... At the very bottom, we do have, you know, the regular gotcha. Okay, that changes things. Sorry. So here's equipment. Equi and then we go down here, and we can just do normal equipment. Obviously... Um... Since the paid ones, uh, <clears throat> for the paid banner, it does say 5% SSR. So I'm going to go out on a whim here and guess that the non-paid banners are not 5%. Probably a 4%, maybe a 3 Who knows? One time limited. Weapons gotcha. Weapons gotcha. You know what? Oh, the SSR is a 2%, but if you go, uh, if you do paid, it's a 4%, and then there's a one-time only, uh, where you are guaranteed an SSR class weapon. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, so I think we got to the bottom of that. Uh, typically when I'm using my resources... The first thing I'm always going to go to is anything that says limited. Let's see. Game launching memorial. Captain's weapons are here. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can get anything from the captain's table. So, we will finish this up with our, our ten pull. Trying to get something from the captain's table. Oh, that's cool. I see some golds in there. I see some golds in there. Gold is good. Gold is good in this. Maybe we just got the luckiest 2% pull ever. And touch the shit out of that screen. Okay, we got a book. Metallic sword. I'm in it for the guns. There's a lightning gun. Uh, there's a beast horn something. So, I wonder if I can just switch weapons and kind of change change classes type deal oh sweet it was so nice to finish on that where's that bad mamma jamma okay it's an SR gun we did get an SR gun the reactor cannon gun shot 2 flicks 100% special damage uh, in 13 seconds, increase evade if ally unit with the highest aggro by 20%. I'm gonna have to like read up on some of this stuff, like what ag, what um, let's see, what evade really does for you in this game. Does it just take some aggro off for you? 
or does it actually increase your chance of dodging and not taking damage at all? Uh, pretty cool though, right? We didn't get any SSRs on this last pull, but we did get an SR gun. That's something I can use. Um, I don't think I'll be able to... Is that guy wearing a top hat? Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, class select. Okay, so it seems like... It seems like I can change my appearance. It seems like I can change my class. Okay, so I can just kind of like... Seems like I can just kind of bounce around and... Make my own hybrid character. There's a whole lot to look at here, folks. Um, for now, though, let's put in our badass SR weapon. Doom, be doom, be doom. There we go. All right, all right, all right. What do we got down here? So we can have way more weapons than that. I just haven't unlocked those yet. So my power did go up a little bit. Pretty cool. What skill info do we have? Okay, so here's all our skills. Increase evade. Alright, yep. Quick drill. Inflict 70% of special damage to the enemy unit. Charge shot. Inflict 120% special damage to the enemy unit. Okay. Decrease the enemy's evade. Power by 10%. Highwayman. Yeah, it's definitely a lot to take in, to say the least. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. I guess we have, you know, some other stuff to equip. Why not? Let's just equip all of it. Why the hell not? Can we, Do we have a better hat than that? Actually. Yeah, that gives me more evade. Uh, it gives me pretty much more everything. How did I choose the wrong hat? So either one of these is actually going to make my overall power higher. How cool am I going to look though? Ah, man. I don't know if I can dig that. It looks like I belong to the church. And that... You know what, we might just have to rock a church hat for a little bit. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't look good with my whiskers, that's all I'm going to say. So did we get any SR armors or anything? Nope, nope. And we still, we still only have one pair of pants. Damn, laundry day is going to be a bitch. Now what are you going to do? Alright, so... Definitely an interesting game, something totally different. I didn't expect anything like this. Uh, I'm digging just all the other characters standing around here. These are actual players. Um, and obviously we can throw up stickers. Oh, there's gestures. There's me saying hello. Here I am. I can nod and just say, no way. <laughs> okay, are there more? Oh, yes, I'm going to be going around saluting people for Mother Russia. There we go. Oh, you can be drunk. There we go. I'm drunk. Okay. Uh, that just takes things to a whole new level. I have a feeling that, that this little drunk thing is just going to be my go-to. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see what my dance skills are like. Can I run and dance at the same time? I don't like how that guy has the same hat as me. I'll do a dance about it. And my dance just turned into me being drunk. Good transition. Very cool. Oh, we have to head to the forge. We got gifts and missions. Oh, okay, so here are... Here's some of those coins, I think, that we were looking at. Awesome. I wonder what I can get with these. Oh, I'm going to use these to upgrade my equipment. So, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed uh, me trying this game for the first time. Um, 
this is this is where we're gonna cut out I'm definitely gonna go in here and try to enhance my gear and I'm just gonna start playing through the story a little bit now uh, this is an over over an hour long video already so if you made it this far I salute you uh, and I hope you enjoyed it uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think and let me know if you're playing this game and what you thought of it peace everybody have an awesome day